Today on the channel from the WWE Superstars Line Series 7, we got the man they call Vader in the Mattel debut of Captain Lou Albano. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another WWE Superstars unboxing and review. And today on the channel from Series 7, the man they call Vader and Captain Lou Albano. But for all your WWE Superstar needs, head over to Walmart. But everything else wrestling related, make sure you go to Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Got to get the deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We're going to start off hot, hot with Captain Lou Albano, who we first saw and was first announced, of course, from Mattel at WrestleMania weekend. I was part of that Mattel store visit or Mattel office visit, we'll call it there. And I immediately saw that fluorescent uh, uh, Hawaiian shirt. I guess not really fluorescent, but Hawaiian shirt. I saw that from right there, and I said immediately, there's Captain Lou Albano. Very, very happy to get the old Captain here. A little bit before my time, of course, I remember Captain Lou. I remember him in Super Mario, stuff like that. Uh, but being a kid that uh, started watching wrestling in kind of the mid-80s, I guess we'll call it, he was at the back half of his career for sure. But definitely remember him popping up, showing up. He came back in the 90s a little bit, of course, the Mario and stuff like that. But definitely an all-time classic manager, very well-remembered all these years later, and great to get him in the action figure game. In the Superstars line, which you usually don't get first time in the line in the Superstars line, which I think is very cool. Could see some people customizing this into Mario, too. So we'll see uh, if somebody ends up doing that. But, of course, we will eventually get him in the Elite line, I have to imagine. And I would love to see him as part of the Ultimate Coliseum Collection. Got to think that's going to be on the docket. I bet you one of these days they'll do a two-pack, maybe him and Bobby Heenan. Two managers. Would love to have a slick as well. But could see us getting more Captain Lou's in the future. I think that'll be a good one. And, of course, the man called Vader take all the Vaders all day long. One of my all-time favorites. So let's start with the old Captain here. Captain Lou making his debut, looking really good. Classic Captain, of course, from that classic era of wrestling we all remember, or should remember at least. Superstars at the top. Big bubble window looking good. Of course, Masters Universe origin style figures as we do know here. Captain looking really good there. Captain Lou Albano on the front. Includes fabric gear, it does say. On the back, often imitated but never duplicated. I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. Uh, I'm a legend in my own mind. And of course, Roddy Piper, Hulk Hogan as well in uh, Series 7 here. Definitely looking cool, though. Boy, oh boy. He looks a little bit thin there. It looks like they uh, were very nice to him here. I wonder, does he fit? Yes, it looks like he does fit with Vader side by side with Vader. As we do know, the packagings connect on those. Uh, but we're going to get Captain Lou out of the package here. We can't wait any longer. There's no more waiting. The waiting game is over. Captain Lou in the collection. See you later. Goodbye. And we do get the baggie, so I better get the old scissors out here. We're going to cut this baggie out. Oh, yeah. Now it's all coming back to me. He does come with his record, as we all remember him getting bashed over the head and uh, whoops, getting records out there. We remember his time with Cindy Lopper. Not a Cindy Lopper guy. I gotta, I gotta admit, doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Never really did a whole lot for me. Uh, just not a Cindy Lopper guy as far as music or as far as her time in wrestling. But definitely one of those things that helped crossover appeal into wrestling. There's no doubt about it. There's no denying that fact at all. And we're twist tied in as well over here. We're just gonna make a mess at the table. We're gonna cut him out all over the place. There it is. And there it is, and we are ready to go. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. All right, Captain Lou out of the package. Let's get down to business. Let's see what's going on here. And we're going to start with this record. Why wouldn't we start with the record? Have a feeling we're going to see this a time or two throughout Elite Lines and things like that, but it is a gold record. Nothing written down here, so I guess you can get a sticker. You can get anything made. You can have this anybody's record if you really want to be. And then it is a breakaway record, so it's ready to be bashed over somebody's head if need be. You can see the cuts in it and stuff. Would love to get one of these non-breakable, much like the Honky Tonk Man's guitars. They're always breakaway guitars. 
give me just a regular guitar, give me a regular record eventually, but for the first pass, I'm here with this. Got the blue, the gold, the black. Looks good, looks like a gold record back in the day. It was the big thing. Then we get the hands out, and Captain Lou, he's got a fist of fury. He's ready to throw a fist if he needs to. And then he's got the old hitchhiking hand, like a young He-Man there. Does have the pointer fingers. Definitely got to give him one of those. He's pointing at everybody. He's doing all the pointing going on. And then we do get two open jazz hands here. Very, very light skin tone color. Out of all the Masters Universe style figures we've ever had, for whatever reason, this looks very, very plain white. Very peachy color, which I guess makes sense. I guess it makes sense. But now we get Captain Lou looking only like a Captain Lou could look. Definitely looking cool right here. Now he does got a chain accessory here. Of course, you pop the head off, the chain can come off. Does got his Hawaiian shirt. A guy just like myself that loves good Hawaiian t-shirts. He does got the undershirt on that is painted, though. That is painted undershirt. And then that classic Captain Lou Albano uh, cartoon image, we'll call it there. Uh, definitely do remember that one. And Captain Lou, I'm trying to think, he's definitely had an LJN back in the day. We got two Jax Classic Superstar figures from him. And then we got those Jax ones. I remember getting those as a kid, like 95 maybe. Uh, those big ones. There was Freddie Blassie, uh, Andre, Jimmy Snuka. Those big giant figures. He's had those, and that might be it for Captain Lou. Outside of like uh, bendies and things like that that he had back in the day. But as far as uh, normal figures, I guess we'll call these normal figures. That's it. So Captain Lou, a guy that's a, a Hall of Famer, a classic that everybody knows. Just not a lot of action figures in the action figure department. But as I said earlier, I think that's going to be changing with this. And this is going to be the start of it here. But uh, Captain Lou's got all the soft goods going on. Soft good pants as well. You take those, you take his pants down. He do got the black underneath. We got some of the Velcro. And interestingly enough, just straight up black, painted black on the bottom there. So uh, interesting. You don't necessarily have to use the fabric, but you definitely can. So uh, I think it does look a little bit classier together with the shirt. So I think that's a good combination. That's how he'll stay for me. Got the white tennis shoes on as well, looking really nice. Uh, and then he's painted white on, okay, there it is, the boots right there. So it's all in white. So it does look on brand for Captain Lou. Definitely feels like Captain Lou, especially the head sculpt. You get to the head on him, got the big beard going on, got the rubber bands going on in there as well. And then he's got like the, the rubber bands like clipped into his face. I never understood that whole deal. How he did that, I never really heard the story either. Like, did he just puncture through himself? Did he get that done? I, I don't know how that worked, but... Definitely an iconic thing with Captain Lou Albano. And then the big curly hair going there. And the crazy kind of wild man face. Very, very cool though. All day long, this feels like, looks like Captain Lou Albano. Very cool, like I said earlier as well, to get a first time in the line in the Superstars line. That is definitely a twist and turn. Mattel keeping us on our toes. We're here for it at the end of the day. Captain Lou looking good. Bring on more Captain Lou's. The one I really want is the Ultimate Edition. But I'll take some basics. Heck, I'll take some Elites, some Battle Packs. Whatever you want to give me a Captain Lou, I will take it. And especially, whatever you'll give me, Vader. I love all the Vader figures. Vader, in my mind, the greatest big man of all time. I've never seen anything like it when I was a kid. I was a kid when, you know, little kid when Vader was coming on, as I always say. And I've never seen a big man do moves like him before. Definitely a trend, set, trend center that we see all these years later uh, with the Bronson Reeds of the world, we could say. But looking good, similar style packaging, got Vader on the bottom. This is more of Cape era Vader and perfect because we're in the heart of Cape season, as we do know. Uh, it's a year-round season thanks to Lando Calrissian these days in the Star Wars line, be it Black Series, Archive Collection, Vintage, you name it, Cape season running strong year-round for many years now. And Vader getting in the mood here to celebrate. So he's got his cape here, and I'm here for it. More capes, the better. I'd wear a cape if I could, if uh, people wouldn't just question you. Like, why are you wearing a cape? I'm a superhero, okay? No, I'm just trying to keep warm. But Vader looking good right out of the Rocky Mountains, as we do know. That's perfect place to wear a cape, as we know as well. Artwork, superstars, all the fun stuff. On the back, got a little bit of that black and white action. You got the cross cell, you got the UPC, jibber jabber. We got a little bit of a glamour shot there. And of course, a little read up here. It does say it's Vader time, the Mastodon. I fear no man, I feel no pain. Is it true the Georgia metal band Mastodon took their name from Vader? Uh, I don't know. It could be now because I might just be starting that rumor. But feel free to spread it around uh, if you want. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to me. But let's get Vader out of the package here. And I'm sure he's going to be twist tied in. I'm going to have to get the scissors out as usual. Part of the core. Can I get the scissors out? Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. That went south in a hurry. Let me fix that. Let me fix that right here. Sometimes you put a spin on it and it comes back at you. All right. Just a little bit. Uh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We always do. But there he is. Plastic Prison, the man they call Vader, looking only like he could look. In the Superstars line, a welcome addition for me as I've 
professed my love for Vader many, many times over the years on this very YouTube channel. We're going to get out his uh, feet. Maybe. Very, very locked in here. Very locked in is the man they call Vader. And of course, why wouldn't be locked in at the hands as well? Might as well. Might as well. We're almost done. Almost done. There it is. All right. All right. It's about Vader time. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for Vader time? See you later. Goodbye. Looking a little bit better that time around. We get the parchment paper. What do we got in here? What kind of surprises lay inside here? Oh, it's the hands. It's the Vader army hands. We're here for it. He's got those big old Vader gloved hands, which I'm always here for. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties off to the pile. And let's start off with these hands here. Now, Vader, he's not messing around. He's got a Fist of Fury over here, and then he's got the hitchhiking hand as well. Those are not gloved hands, which looks a little strange to me because when I think of Vader, I think of him in the gloved hands like we got right here. We got the big old open hands. He's got the old V going on. It's Vader time. We know how that goes down. Got those right there. And then we got two gripping hands, straight up elite gripping hand style hands. Definitely works. So I'm going to be using one of those because I just feel like my Vader needs a gloved hand. And I don't know. You guys tell me what you're going to do. But I love this Vader and I love this cape. First thing I notice here is this beautiful, beautiful cape. Nice, soft, soft cape. Feels really nice. And then you get the kind of pelt going on here. I don't know if this is reindeer or is it elk. It's, it's probably a polar bear. He probably wrestled a polar bear, took him down, and or he got a grizzly and dyed its color. Who knows? But it definitely looks nice. Nice kind of faux fur feel to it. You got the, what is this thing called? The little uh, clasp, I don't know, clasp? clasp is that a word it is now but it does have that going there it just slides over his head so easy to remove if you need to definitely here for that then we get the man called vader here would have loved to have seen the big old mastodon helmet maybe i'll grab one off one of my elites over there for the glamour shot see what those looks like if it does fit on vader here but i really like this vader he is one of those big men uh kind of like earthquake typhoon bam bam we got a little bit of looseness in this left leg it's a little looseness there, a little looser than I would like it to be, but we got a little looseness there. But uh, definitely Vader in the head all day. You know that jockstrap mask anywhere. It is Vader. Got the orange kind of brownish goatee poking through. He's got the shaved head with the hair on the sides all day long. This big Van Vader articulation going to go all the way around. I'm going to do articulation for Lou too because they are the same. The articulation is the same in all these figures. Arms go all the way around, side to side at the old elbow, single jointed, hands removable, back forth, side to side. He does got these wrist guards. They do not seem to move, so we do have those going there. Uh, do you get the waist articulation? Big old splits if you need them. Single jointed knees, side to side. Boot cut, of course. Ankles back and forth, side to side. And everything, of course, is removable. You can mix and match your figures, do whatever you want. Choose your own figure adventure at the end of the day. And, of course, I'm sure he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10% at Ringside Collectibles. Make sure you get the Mattel stands for these, though, at the end of the day. He does got his knee pads going on there as well. Um, and then you got the big old singlet going on in black with the red stripes on the side. Very, very cool looking Vader. I'm definitely here for any and all Vader figures they want to bring us. And Vader and Captain Lou, I think, are the same body style and same body type here, which is interesting but makes sense what this line is doing. They're all on the same kind of scale, all the same kind of size. And that's kind of the charm of this line, as we do know. Now, these are Walmart exclusives. As we talked about, you can only get these at Walmart. They're just starting to hit stores right now. And a little better, better distribution in the last couple of series of these. I think we might have passed over. As I've been saying on the channel, distribution was going to get better on these. And it looks like the time is finally starting to come. Uh, still a long way to go. But you know what Jerry Reed always says? You've got a long way to go and a short time. And Jerry Reed is exactly right as the holiday season is right around the corner here. And a lot of kids, I've heard it, I've kept my ears to the streets, a lot of kids are asking Santa this year for Big Van Vader and, of course, Captain Lou Albano. Huge with the five, six-year-old kids, these two. So hopefully they're going to get out there and hopefully Santa can deliver these to the kids for Christmas. But for me, I'm very excited about these two. I like of the tip of the iceberg here with Captain Lou. What can we get in the future? Definitely here for that. And then any and all Vaders, I am definitely here for any and all Vader figures. Give me more Vaders. I might even have to buy a couple more of these. Who knows? Who knows? But a fun, fun one here in Series 7. Always good to get a new Superstar video on the channel and in my collection. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? You picking these two up? You playing the long game? You passing? Let me know your thoughts. And what are you looking for for Captain Lou? Do you want him in some of his more iconic looks? What do you want him in? Do you want him in his wrestling gear? 
let me know in the comments uh, down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the other YouTube channel. We got two channels going, and we got videos on both of them. And of course, Patreon, your best way to support the channel. And you get early access to both channels' videos on top of a lot of other exclusive stuff. And it is the best way to support this very YouTube channel and all the videos. And you can also support the channel at WrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram and on threads. So for the man they call Vader and Captain Lou Albano, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.